Good afternoon, this is Simon Bell from Stonetown Conservatives and I'm up our high street. Now, some of you will remember, almost two years ago, um, we started off doing these videos, and one of the first videos that we did, and subsequently have done another, was at the Royal Exchange with Michelle. And Michelle has just reminded me that the second one, I think, was it the first one, Michelle? I can't remember. I think it was either the first or the second, we had 10,000 views. So I'm going to introduce you, and most people will know Michelle anyway. Hi, Michelle, how are you? And Michelle's got some news. It's very sad news for a lot of people in Stone, Michelle. Um, but it's an important piece of news for you because you're going to change your career. Well, not your career, but you're going to move to something which you, I think passionately you believe in. Yeah. Tell us all about it. Um, I leave the Royal Exchange on the 30th of June after 10 and a half years at the helm, so to speak. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to Port Vale Football Club as the bar manager. Port Vale Football Club. Now, hold on a minute, Michelle. There's a load of people that come in here who are Stoke City stalwarts. Yeah. What is going to happen? Well, a few of them have said that they will come and have a drink there. So, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. Well, what you, never, you never know. They might even come and watch a game. Well, you, may, you never know, but I know how deep... You know, it runs in some people's veins. So. It, it does. Yeah. <laughs> now, Michelle, you, you've just said you, you were here for ten and a half years, or you, you will have been for yeah. ten and a half years. What are some of the most memorable things in that ten and a half years oh. that you'd like to share? There's lots. I mean, there's so many happy memories of things that have happened, you know. I mean, we've done beach parties where we've had people doing sand angels on the floor because the floor's <laughs> covered in sand. We've had enchanted forests with bark on the floor, trees up the wall with fairy lights. We've done UFO days. We've done all sorts of different things. And, and that's what really makes the Royal Exchange very different. But actually, the Royal Exchange is about you. The Royal Exchange is about everybody it because is. it's the customers that make it what it is. I, I'm only a little tiny bit of it. The staff are a big part of it, but the customers are. And you've got some fantastic staff. Yeah, I totally know brilliant staff. So, I mean, um, in the last two years, it's been tough for everybody. You've really sort of got the, the Royal Exchange back on its feet again and driving, you know, what you do, which is basically being a brilliant, brilliant yeah. landlady. Oh, thank you. So we'd like to thank you very much indeed for what you've done for Stone, for all the... Can we call them drinkers? Or can we call them customers? We'll call them customers. Customers, OK. <laughs> Who like a, a drink yeah. or two? And yeah. thank you very much indeed. And I know that a lot of us will be coming to see you at Port Vale. Yeah. I'd just like to say thank you very much to everybody who supported the pub and myself, you know, especially during the pandemic, because I had so many Red Cross food parcels and things. People were so kind. Can't believe it. And, you know, that's what we're about. We help each other and we're always here for each other. Brilliant. Yeah. And I mean, it's a wonderful community. And thank you, Michelle. Yeah. You've made, been a major part to that. Thank you very much. So it's Simon Bell from Stonetown Conservatives up our high street. Michelle, good luck. Thank you.